construction-grade herd specifications were established in France so we could have replicatable results not only on the building sites but in research papers, as in this paper by Florence Collette, dated 2012. So they've been at it for quite a while. And this is from the University of Rennes. Now, on the other hand, we have in England, the University of Bath, a not widely known researcher here in the United States, but Dr. Mike Lawrence and his students and associates have done an incredible amount of work. But back to this research paper and the sprayer that they were using. That is Long Goudet's original iteration of his gunite machine. And uh, it uses, in this particular test, they're using a tested match pair of uh, Bata Chambre and PF70. So when the tested match pairs came about, so in research and in engineering, all the calculations would be accurate, replicatable, and could be plugged in to any software that they use in terms of engineering a particular wall structure because they look at compressive strength as well as shear, as well as the insulative nature of the material and the thicknesses of the material, as we'll see in another research paper. In this particular paper, we have Florence again and her compatriot, Sylvie Preto, well-known in the hempcrete and natural building world for their engineering research. And let's look at how extensive this was. So they did tests not only relating in thicknesses, but materials, so density as well, and different formulations, as well as different placement whether it was hand cast, whether it was sprayed, whether it was pre-cast, pre sprayed and molded, molded, lime only, hemp lime concrete, and these different variations and different uh, densities. So that required consistency in material, which is why those standards were established. And the standards have to do with variability in sizing, and they consider it an aggregate, much like the concrete industry looks at various size aggregate as a necessity in the, in the formation of concrete. When you mix cement with aggregate, it becomes concrete. So one thing to remember is that while those standards exist, and it's labeled CNC, Construire en Chambre, there is building that is done outside of that. But like in the United States, where a contract may require ASTM standard and certified materials, the same thing happens in France, and they use only the binding mat, the, uh, the hemp herd and binder matched pairs as is specified in whatever contract is being done. This is usually you'll see on the two-story three-story, four-story buildings that the French have built in Paris and in outlying areas, some of which are on uh, featured on my YouTube channel. So let's look at this particular image of these shadow boxes in different size material. This is an amazing video on this particular um, general contractor is Ecopertica, and this is at Rebat Bio. I will include a link to this entire video. And in this video, he is spraying clem, clay, a hemp clay mix. And he describes that outside of the range of a CNC grade, you can use larger herd, more localized herd that might be used in a smaller decorticator, uh, like uh, Christophe Elgis uh, Herdmaster. I don't know if I pronounced the name right. As we can see, as we go on here, ah, du maçon looks. et de la machine qu'il a. Euh, ce qui est peut-être important à signaler, c'est que c'est important de limiter le taux de poussière pour euh, pour le bien-être sur chantier. C'est possible d'avoir de la fibre, 
Tout à fait. Il y a différents types de fibres dans la chaîne, dans la chaîne de vote qui, qui peuvent être là, des fibres longues, des fibres courtes, etc. Ce qui est important. The most important thing is small to large. Always small to large. And not just kind of one large, one sizing. It's like as if usually in concrete, if you're hand mixing you, or even pre-mixes, you've got two batches, smaller, larger, of varying sizes. It's as if I only threw in larger and that was it, or I only threw in smaller and that was it. It is the interconnecting matrix that the small to large provides, whether it's hand cast or sprayed. Some spray systems are more flexible than others, some are not. He is using a Euromare three head nozzle, a Immer S50, and his own herd blower. Very interesting setup, and it works perfectly fine. L'important, c'est d'avoir un mélange homogène. On a une exigence sur le résultat. Euh, si vous avez un mélange homogène sans bouloche. Euh... So if you look back real quickly, we see that some of the herd I've seen is blocky and chunky. It's not so great. Maybe it looks like a cinder block uh, material, but the standards they find are this interconnecting matrix, and it doesn't matter how big it is, within reason, as long as you have this variety of sizing. And that really is what this comes down to. Ce qui est important, c'est d'avoir un mélange homogène. On a une exigence sur le résultat. Euh, si vous avez un mélange homogène sans bouloche euh, sur le mur, really parfait.